Let's imagine you've decided to build your villa in Spain and now you're looking at plots of land on which to build it and you need better quality information than that which is given to you by the real estate agent. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Spanish Catastro website to get quality information, fine-tune your search and decide which of those plots are worth visiting in person. Hello and welcome to the channel and if you're new here my name's John Wolfendale and I'm the CEO and founder of EcoVida Homes. If you'd like us to do the due diligence on your plot before you buy it so you can be confident you can build your dream villa on that plot legally and on budget contact us through the website ecovidahomes.com. Okay so you can see that I'm on the the Catastro website um, uh, it says here, Sede Electronica del Catastro, and this link here at the top, I'm going to put that in an article on our website, and I'm going to put the link to the article on the description of this video. So you can go straight to this page, and you can see, take a look around, you can see here that if I click on Cartografia, then I get a map of Spain, and I'm just going to imagine, just for uh, to give you uh, an illustration, that we're looking at plots here on the Costa Blanca. And I can scroll in and get closer and closer. And we're going to pretend that we're interesting, uh, interested in a site here on this urbanization. And as I scroll in, I get a, a better indication of all the individual ownerships in this area. And you can see here. I'm just going to imagine that we're interested in this plot here, plot 25. Uh, and I can immediately see the, that there's a, an access point here, but no other access points. I can see the neighboring uh, properties. I can even see whether they've got swing pools or not. And if I click on this, then um, you'll see that some further information becomes available. Uh, this screen comes up and it's giving me some information here. It's giving me the unique uh, catastral reference number. Here it is again. If I click on that, um, this screen comes up and, and I think I've automatically downloaded now to my computer uh, this document and it's got some important information. As I said, the unique reference number is here. Here we've got the address. Uh, and I can see here which municipality it is in. So I can approach them now to find out and check on the normativa, the planning regulations that relate to this particular prot. I can see that it's, it's classified urbano, and I need to know that. And uh, according to the Catastro, it's suelo sin edificación. That means there's no building currently registered on this property. And importantly, I can see the square meters that are registered on the Catastro. And in this case, it's 3,506 square meters. Now I can coordinate that with Google Maps. So here I am in Google Maps on the same place. Uh, and I've got lots of information here. You're probably already familiar with this. If I want to go to the area, then, you know, I just put Casa Pepe in my sat nav and it takes me straight here. And I can see here, if I click on the, um, it's very helpful, I think, to be able to see an aerial photograph. It tells me immediately that the plot has got a lot of trees on it. And again, I can check out the neighboring properties. And of course, importantly, I can uh, drive around the neighborhood in the Google car and I can get a feel for the tone of the neighborhood, any slopes that there might be, uh, maybe even get an, an idea of the views. You can see here that I can actually see that at this point there's a sea view here. So you can see that we've gained a lot of very useful information from this exercise. We've been able to check out the shape of the property and the boundaries and look at the neighboring properties too and their boundaries. We've got the planning classification. We know how many square meters are registered on the Catastro. We know which municipality to check out the planning regulations with. 
and we've been able to coordinate with Google so you can see the aerial photograph, drive around in the Google car, all of this without leaving your home. Obviously, in order to be able to do this, you need the exact location of the plot. So you need the real estate agent to give you that. Another tip, if you're driving around in the car, is to send yourself on WhatsApp uh, the location. And then when you get home, you can check out the Catastro information as I've shown you. And a quick cautionary note for foreigners looking at this. Um, these are not your title deeds. And indeed, the square meters that are on the Catastro and the precise location of those boundaries are often taken from aerial photographs and are indicative only. Uh, the title, the exact rights that will be transferred to you with ownership are contained on the land registry. And for that, you'll need to look at the Nota Simple. So it may be that you would love to understand step by step the whole process of building a villa in Spain and how long it all takes. In which case, you need to look at the next video on the channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do that now. And if you like the video, like it. And I'll see you in the next video.